What is a microscope? A microscope is a device that amplifies the image of small objects and it is possible to observe the smallest details. There are three main operations that can be done with this tool. Amplify the image, separate and see the whole details. Using the microscope step by step. If you already know and have been able to identify all the parts of the microscope, you can follow the steps to carry out an observation. Step 1. Using the nose piece of the microscope, position the objective with the lowest magnification. The observation always starts with the minimum magnification, from which is increased until reaching the desired magnification level. Step 2. Turn on the microscope light. This may require plugging it into the power first or making sure the batteries are charged. Step 3. Place the slide with the sample in the center of the stage. Make sure the sample is approximately over the hole in the stage. A well prepared sample will be covered with a cover slip to prevent contact between the objective and the sample. You can properly fix the sample using the clamps on the stage. Step 4. Without looking through the eyepiece yet, adjust the cover screw to bring the stage closer to the objective. Try to get a sample as close to the target possible but always avoid touching each other as this could damage the sample and the objective. Step 5. Looking through the eyepiece, adjust the condenser and the diaphragm to maximize the amount of light reaching the sample. Some microscopes have a small mirror that directs the light onto the sample. If this is the case with your microscope, also adjust the position of the mirror so that the sample is fully illuminated. Step 6. Adjust the course screw again to increase the distance between the sample and the objective while looking through the eyepiece. Gently move the screw until you detect the point where your sample image comes into focus. Step 7. Adjust the micro mirror screw to improve the focus of the image and obtain a sharp observation of the sample. Step 8. Once you can see a focused image on the sample through the eyepiece, carefully move the slide so that the details of the sample you're interested in come into your field of view. If your objective is equipped with a moving carriage, you can use the moving carriage screws to adjust the position of the slides. Step 9. To improve the quality of the image, you can adjust the condenser or diaphragm again to regulate the amount of the light that illuminates the sample. Step 10. From this point, if you want to observe the sample with a higher magnification, you can select the next objective. Using the revolver, a small adjustment of the micrometer screw may be necessary to maintain the focus. If you cannot focus the sample, you can repeat the procedure described from step 3 with the new objective. Step 11. When the observation is finished, turn off the light and adjust the cursor screw to maximize the distance between the sample and the objective. Then, remove the sample and leave the minimum magnification objective selected. If you have finished using the microscope, you can cover it with the cover to prevent dust accumulation. Tips for using the microscope correctly Here are some tips and recommendations that you can take into account to avoid damaging your microscope and keep it in good condition. Step 1. We take the microscope out of the dust bag that surrounds and protects it when it's not in use. If you have to move the microscope to another place, all we use both hands. Wrap the microscope by its own place and place your other hand under its base to keep it in normal position. Make sure to always cover your samples with a cover slip. This is necessary for good preparation and can also prevent the objective of sample from coming in contact if you mistakenly bring them too close when adjusting the cursor screw to its normal position. Never touch the lenses or optical parts of your microscope with your fingers. Also don't try to clean them by blowing with your mouth as you can dirty them with saliva. When you are not using the microscope, always cover it with a cover. This will prevent dust from accumulating on your optical elements and consequently extend their lifespan. Este video es presentado por el Sistema Ciencia Garza Educativa de la Universidad Autónoma del Estado de Hidalgo.